Hello my friends. I'm sitting here in what is known as the Meditation Garden here on our church campus. And many of you may not even know where that is. Uh, it's a little garden that's right outside what we call the bride's room. And I'm sitting here on this coral bench and I'm thinking about our lesson for today. Our lesson from today comes again from the gospel according to Mark, the first chapter. So chapter one, verses 29 to 39. So just to bring you up to date as to where we are, Jesus was baptized in the River Jordan by his cousin, John the Baptist. He went and he prayed and meditated. I'm in a meditation garden. That means to have quiet time to just think and reflect on things you're thinking about in your head. And then he, just, he understood that he needed help to tell all the people about God's love. And so he started calling helpers. And that's when he called Simon and Andrew and John and James to come and join him. And uh, they began the journey. And along the way, they were all meeting people and they were teaching them all about God's love. And Jesus was making people better. People were hurting, people were in pain, like we talked about last week when someone was in pain and Jesus uh, helped them become better. And that's what Jesus is doing. Well, after all this time, they decided that they were gonna go back to Simon and Andrew's house. And when they got there, they found out that Simon's mother-in-law, that is the mother of his wife, she wasn't feeling well. She had been in bed sick and they were really concerned about her. And so Jesus walked into the room. He saw her there and he reached out his hand to her and he said, come on, get up, get up out of that bed. And she did. She got up out of the bed and she instantly felt better. She was healed. And so she started to serve them. So our lesson today was, is about how we serve one another. That means how we help take care of one another and how we pray to help make us better, stronger, more able uh, to do that work. And I was thinking, well, all of this is kind of complicated to be talking to kids about, right? And uh, hopefully you're sitting watching this with your mommies and daddies, but uh, you know, maybe just the mommies and daddies are watching it to find out something that they can share with their kids, some new thoughts. However that occurs, this is what I want you to think about. Jesus wants us to share with everyone we meet God's love, God's caring, God's wanting us to have the best life. And so while Jesus was doing this in his time, you know, so many people were hearing about him and so many people wanted to come and see him and be healed and touched him that Jesus was like feeling like, oh, man, there's so much stuff happening around me. You know, maybe you feel like that sometimes when you're playing with your friends and you're all trying to chase after the ball or you all are wanting to play with the same truck. And and you're just like, oh, it's just too much, too much, too much. And you want to just go away in a quiet place and to think about, oh, how can I do things a little different? And so that's the way Jesus was. Not so much that he wanted th to do things different, but he just needed a little time away from everybody wanting him to do something. And so he came to a quiet place. And I thought maybe it was a place like this where he could come and pray. And he went there while it was still dark outside. And then his disciples, Simon and Andrew, John and James were looking for him and they found him right as the sun after the sun had come up was shining brightly. But Jesus had all this time just to sit, sit and just talk to God. 
Just sit and talk to God. And sometimes we want that time, don't we? We want to just to be away from everyone. You want to go play in your room by yourself, or maybe you just want to uh, read a story, or you want to cuddle up and have mommy and daddy read you a story, or your big sister or brother. You just, just one person, or maybe if you can read just you by yourself, off somewhere thinking. So that's what I'm doing here now thinking how I can better serve you and help you learn how much God loves you. So remember this, wherever you go, wherever you are, God's spirit always travels with you. Amen.